Hello everyone, today I want to talk about one of the forgotten indicators, it's called linear regression forecast indicator. Uh, we are looking at a gold chart and we are on 4 hour uh, time setting for the gold. Um, let me add this indicator, we go to studies 1 if you're using ATAR for charts. Um, okay. We go here uh, in study ones and look for linear rig forecast. Then uh, I don't like small periods, uh, it's too noisy, not good. So I'm changing the periods to uh, period to 50. Uh, the color I use, yeah, I leave, I leave it at black. Create. Okay, you can see the indicator. Uh, there is two way of using this indicator. First one is just by itself. So anytime you can see change of direction in the indicator, it means that trend will change and uh, it's a good time to open a uh, position. So here you can see turning downward so you can open a cell position here or here that was turning up or so you could uh, open a buy position but uh, the second method is combining this indicator with uh, moving average so just go add one moving average uh, the um, period i leave it at 50 and just create okay so anytime that's that in this indicator crosses above the uh, moving average that's a buy signal so you buy here and if it crosses below then you sell so um, just gonna add a couple of lines to um, to this chart sorry vertical line here that was the buy signal and again we close the buy here so as you can see very um, nice buy position Uh, this indicator is very good in trendy market, but not so good when you are in sideways, as uh, you can see here, when it goes a bit uh, into sideways and less trendy markets, as you can see, there is a sell signal here, and you exit the sell here. Still profitable, but not as good as the other one, and you know, as uh, it gets more in sideways, uh, the signals getting useless. So uh, you should use this indicator in trendy market to uh, get the most out of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was all about this indicator, the um, calculations and how this indicator calculates is a bit uh, mathematical so and complicated. Uh, we don't want to talk about that things here. You can Google it and just uh, if you're interested in programming or knowing the uh, formula. But uh, for us, we just need to know how to use the indicators. Uh, yep, that was for all for today. Have a nice day. Uh, see you later.